everyone, it's Lisa and I am super excited to share with you some of my favorite tools for creating some fun games and activities that you can use in your class. So all of the ones I'm going to show you today are free and they were all created by the same person. In fact, I've sent this guy an email telling him how amazing I think he is. So the first one is Jeopardy Labs. And what Jeopardy Labs lets you do is create an online Jeopardy. So you don't need to go find some amazing PowerPoint template. You can just build your own here and it'll work really well. But another thing that it lets you do is it lets you search for Jeopardies that other people may have created. So I'm just gonna search for LDS. Oh, look at this, LDS Priesthood Jeopardy template. So I'm, I haven't even looked at this before, so who knows what it's gonna say, but here I have how many teams. Let's say I'm gonna divide my class into three teams, and then I just click Start. And now, see, I have all these different topics, and then just like with regular Jeopardy, these amounts. So, and then down here, I have the teams, one, two, and three, and then you see this plus and minus. So let's say duties of the priesthood, let's say the team picks duties of the priesthood for 200. Teach, preach, baptize, confirm, conduct meetings, administer to the sick. And then let's say they give the correct response where the duties of the office of an elder. And let's say it was team two. They got it right. So I click the plus sign. This totally eliminates the problem of your students and class members not thinking that you can add and subtract. Um, you gave it to the wrong group, Mrs. Van, you know, or Sister Van, whatever. So it, it totally it takes that away. But let's say they got it wrong then you would get minus 200, right? So now, in addition to finding ones that other people have done, look, we can have this LDS temples, a game for award activity. How fun is that? Let's divide the award into 10 teams, and we're gonna play Utah temples, LDS temple trivia, and you can see that it goes down. Let's take LDS tri temple trivia for 500. For this temple city, officials showed their support by renaming the street and the three long, I don't even know the answer to this. Let's find out. Stockholm, Sweden Temple. So let's say it was Team 7 and they got it right. I just click here and there. They get 500 points. So in addition to being able to browse Jeopardies that other people have created, you can also build your own. And you can put in a password so that then you can go find it later. Now, it does have this thing that you can do for $20 for a lifetime membership. I, that's not necessary. Um, and then you just start building and then the ones that you create become available to other people. Now, from the Jeopardy Labs website, which is just jeopardylabs.com, I can also link to a few other things that I wanna show you. The first one is crosswordlabs.com. Now, Crossword Labs is where you can actually create a crossword puzzle. And again, just like Jeopardy Labs, you can find a crossword puzzle. So again, I'm just gonna put in LDS and look, here are all these LDS, LDS history crossword. And this would be so fantastic for seminary or a young men or young women activity or even award activity at Christmas. Imagine that you could do some of these fun things. You can, if you wanna use the one that they've created, you can download it as a PDF, which would keep really nice formatting, or you can do it as a Word document. And what you might wanna do as a Word document for is if you wanna edit it a little bit. So let's say that you wanna change some of the uh, clues. And so if you put it as a Word document, you can do that. And then you can click on answer key, but only if you created it. So if you want an answer key and you can't figure it out, you have to create it yourself. But let's say that you didn't find a crossword that you wanted. You can come in here and name one. Um, let, I'll just keep using uh, an example I've been playing with today. New Testament, and I could put in um, Apostle who first saw Jesus after his resurrection. Um, and then, so what this would do, if I type it in like this, this would be the answer, right? Because I would have to put, um, I put the word that I want to be first and then a space, and then all of this would be read as the clue, okay? So if I type it like this, then it's gonna put in apostle as the word instead of the name of whatever I want. So be sure you type in what you want in the boxes of the crossword first, right? Um, like Galilee, two E's, yeah. 
uh, where was Jesus from? Okay. Um, and then you would do as many as you want, create a passcode so that you can protect the answer key if you want, generate it. Now you have to have at least two words or it won't let you do it. So let's say, I'll say carpenter. Um, what was Joseph's profession? Now we'll see a little two word crossword puzzle generated. There we go. And you can regenerate it. So you can have multiple versions of this of the same crossword, meaning multiple versions of the same words and clues. But then kids can't just or people participating can't just look at each other's because they look a little bit different. Now, back to Jeopardy Labs, that's Crossword Labs, and it's just crosswordlabs.com. Here you go, crosswordlabs.com. You go back to Jeopardy Labs, you can also get to Word Search Labs from there. And Word Search Labs is the exact same thing. I can type in one that um, people may have created. Looks like there are no LDS ones. Um, let's say I want a New Testament word search. Are there any New Testament word searches? Oh, I know there are, so it must not be working very well. So let's see. New Testament. I think it was acting glitchy. That's weird. Well, never mind. We'll just create our own, right? So New Testament. And then separate each word that you want in there. Jesus, Apostle, Cain, uh, like Cana for the wedding at Cana, um, Lazarus, um, uh, let's see, Mary, tomb, Gethsemane, right? So you just put in whatever you want. Now, this is nice because if you're working with itty bitties, you might only want the words left to right. You don't want to confuse them by letting words be up and down and sideways and everything. You can also say how many letters you want it across and down. And again, you can put in a passcode so that you can come back later and edit it. Let's say it didn't really work out. And then you just click preview, see what it looks like. Here we go. There's what our puzzle looks like, creates a word bank for us at the bottom. And then I can regenerate it just like the others. And now I have a different one and then I can save it. And I can save it as either a PDF or a Word document again. And I can also even view instructions for online play, which is fun. So that's crossword, or that was Word Search Labs. So we have Jeopardy Labs, Word Search Labs, Crossword Labs. I'm gonna go back to Jeopardy Labs to show you the last one, which is actually one of my very favorites. And this is called Bingo Baker. Now, Bingo Baker, you can create a bingo, but what's great about it is you don't have to call it bingo. So let's say you don't want to give any impression of like gambling or anything like that. So you can call it Zingo or you could call it um, anything you want, game, right? Let's do a four by four and call it game. One of the things I like about this is that it lets you do bingos of different diff boards of different sizes. You don't have to do five by five. You can do four by four. So I just made it called game. And then I can just type in whatever I want in each box. But what's also awesome is this. Let's say I have some pictures. So let me go find some um, pictures. I should have some gospel looking pictures here. Um, I can get any picture I want and I can actually drag it into there. So I could do a bingo of the apostles putting their pictures in it. So there's Elder Benar. So I can do that. And um, I can also just paste in a list of words if I want. And then I generate my bingo. I can print however many cards per page I want up to four. And then I can print the cards. Now, I actually paid for this one. So you see a maximum of eight of 100. That means how many different bingo cards will it create so everybody doesn't get bingo at the same time. Um, even with a free version, though, you can print out um, a number of them. So it's not the same. I love Bingo Baker because I love being able to include pictures. So whether it is Jeopardy Labs, which is so fantastic, whether it's Jeopardy Labs, Crossword Labs, Word Search Labs or Bingo Maker, 
all of these tools can be used for free by gospel teachers to help engage students and create some fun and variety in your class. I hope you love them. Again, you can get to all of them from Jeopardy Labs, but you can't get to all of them from any of the others. So I always start at Jeopardy Labs and then you can bookmark them from there. Hope you have a great time with it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below.